the last wrestling promotion or the last two wrestling promotions that you could actually watch that were actually wrestling, actually good, were the first two seasons of Lucha Underground before it got ridiculous. The first two seasons of Lucha Underground were tremendous, especially the first one. It was great. It was the best wrestling TV since like 2000, 2001, WWF. And then, aside from that, NWA Power. The problem with NWA Power is now they got rainbow people. And they kept having it on YouTube. Then they put it on some app. And then they put it back on YouTube. Like Every time something is good, everything. every time something is just fine how it is, someone has to do something stupid or put, uh, you know, um, rainbowism in it. When WWF was the last company standing in a national sense, in 2001, ECW goes under, WCW goes under. There was a void of wrestling television nationally. TNA tried pay-per-view in 2002, and then eventually they got on Spike TV once McMahon went Back to USA Network in 2005. Ring of Honor came into existence in 2002, but then they didn't get a real TV deal until HDNet, which was a channel most people did not have. And I believe that was around 2009, 2010. HDNet, I believe, is now Axis TV, which I believe TNA is on. So it always been a dead channel. And... You know, throughout the years, before AEW gets on Turner, you know, from 2001 to around 2018, you know, as far as wrestling TV besides Vince McMahon, you know, MTV had, like, some wrestling shows, but it never lasted, and some networks tried some wrestling things, and it it did not work. You know, Urban Wrestling Federation had pay-per-views. It didn't really work, but that was that urban that, that urban wrestling federation. It was very entertaining. It was like Grand Theft Auto of wrestling. I got to review that one day. It might have been the greatest wrestling shows I've ever seen. Urban Wrestling Federation pay per views. <laughs> Literally Grand Theft Auto of wrestling. But anyway, you never really had networks giving wrestling another chance or another shot. You have to be Vince McMahon, so McMahon could move from Spike to USA. McMahon could, you know. He could be on the CW of SmackDown, you know, when they when they change from UPN to CW, when they merge UPN and, uh, what is it, WB. You know, he could get, you know, ECW, the fake ECW on Sci-Fi and what have you. But for whatever reason, for almost 20 years, it's impossible to get wrestling on national TV. But now, heading into 2024... Reports are coming out that NWA Power is signing a major TV deal. Good Lord. Signing a major TV deal. And it's allegedly supposed to be CW. The same network that used to air SmackDown on Friday nights. Apparently, they're going to get NWA Power and give NWA a reality show behind the scenes of NWA Power. It's a rumor. Billy Corgan, who, you know, Smashing Pumpkins fame, Paul's rock. Music, 90s fame. Yeah. He's a booker of NWA Power. And he does an interview saying they've signed with the top 20 major network. Now, um, that probably probably is confirmation of CW because you're not going to get on NBC. I doubt that. ABC, CB, yeah, yeah, right. Um, You're not going to get on Turner. You're not going to get on Universal. Uh... So a top 20 network would be CW or A&E, which I highly doubt A&E because they're in bed with McMahon and them. Uh, AMC, uh, hopefully not MTV. MTV, you know, for some reason, MTV always kind of wanted to be in wrestling, but then not really. Like they, you know, in the, in the in, didn't they do like something in the 80s, the rock and wrestling or something and they kind of liked wrestling, then they kind of don't. You know, they had Sunday Night Heat for a short time. 
You know, they had the, the what was that promotion in, what was it, 07, 08? What, what was that promotion on MTV? It had X-Pac, it had, I think it had Teddy Hart. Oh, God, what was, it wasn't XPW, what was it called? I can't remember, but they gave, like, they had, like, some wrestling show that was, like, 30 minutes. It, it was, it was trash. So, I don't know if MTV is trying to get back into wrestling again. Uh, but the CW, I think that is a good spot for NWA Power. The problem is the CW is, are, are they going to force this to be even more rainbowism? It, it's like, I, I can't watch NWA Power. I, I'm not about to watch drag, and, 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 and I'm not going to watch that. Like, I, I, don't understand, I, don't, I don't understand. This is about to turn into a rant. I don't understand why wrestling has become this place for these Bruce Jenner types. It's like Bruiser Brody just flipping in his grave. Luthez. You know, having characters is one thing. Goldust act, acting effeminate. Or Adrian Adonis or whoever. It's a character. But they're actually having these type of people in the companies. In the women's division. I'm sorry, you're not a woman. You're a man. Actually, you're not a man. You're male professing to be a woman <laughs> i'm sorry so um uh how was your first period how did you handle that like, like it's just a sickness in society and nwa is pushing this now tna is pushing this now aw is pushing this now mcmahon is pushing this now he always halfway wanted to hit the like button oh god but let's get beyond that I I made a, I think I made this video a year ago, right around this time. I was reviewing AEW Dynamite. I was doing a rant on how much it was trash, which it is still is probably. I haven't watched this show in months, whatever. Apparently, yeah, yeah, Ric Flair. I, I, I saw something. Ric Flair debuted in AEW or something. <laughs> God. AW is supposed to be one of these like liberal, fake democratic, overly sensitive companies, and now they bring in Ric Flair. Didn't did, what, what, wasn't AW saying something like Flair can't come here because that dark side of the ring, some woman? I mean, shut up. Carnies will go against their own fake agendas too. So so Tony Khan is paying for Ric Flair's bar tab. But anyway, the point is. About last year, I was saying, how did AEW even get on TNT? How? What, what was the connect? What was the contact? And the greater point I made was, if NWA Power got that TV deal, you'd see a real wrestling show because NWA Power at the beginning, not now, NWA Power on, on commentary, they had Velvet Sky. It's like, what the hell? Why, why would, of all the announcers, you put Velvet Sky as a commentator? Brodus Clay is the world champion. It's like, okay, this promotion's dead. Y your world champion is Brodus Clay. And Velvet Sky is, is your is your color commentary. Okay, this company's dead. You know, Billy Corgan, he tried to build NWA power with a lot of like the TNA leftovers. Whatever. But at the beginning, they did have LA Knight, who was Eli Drake or something. They did have James Storm. They did have a lot of good talent. They had wrestlers who looked like wrestlers, men who looked like men, women who looked like women who could actually wrestle and talk. Now, I think it's fallen slightly into shambles. Not completely shambles. It's still better than AEW. NWA Power is still better than... than, than I, I cannot watch Raw or SmackDown. It's still better than all these things. But there are some issues that make me not watch it. But... It's allegedly getting a TV deal on the CW network. But once again, it depends what that is because some of these TV networks, which makes no sense, there's been TV networks, they gave wrestling, you know, time slots, but it's, you know, midnight on a Saturday or th there was some wrestling show. I can't remember what it was. It was like six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. It's like, who's going to wake up to watch this? It's like, so it, the, it matters what's the network. How much money is the network going to put into this production and promotion? Getting a TV deal is not enough. You have to have everything else to go with it. Placement, promotion, production. What day is it on? What time is it on? Is anyone going to care about it? Is it going to be promoted properly? But then NWA on their part, 
They have. They cannot present a show where your your top guy is 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 a nobody. Unless you're gonna, unless there's somebody, unless he's a nobody who has great charisma and potential, you you can't. It can't just be some bland, like like TNA. Their, their top guy is, is some guy named Josh Alexander. No, 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 no. Even even all the faults of AEW. When AEW started, a big part of uh, of the interest was for people not into this mark nonsense. A big part of it was this Kenny Omega guy. Okay, he's finally going to be in America. You can finally watch him in America. You don't have to stay up till three a.m. watching New Japan like Dave Meltzer having sleepovers. It's like okay, this Kenny Omega guy is he actually any good? The the young cucks are, are they actually <laughs> are they actually any good? That was part of the like appeal at the beginning. And then as you watch AEW, most people did not know who MJF was, if you're not a mark. So most people got introduced to F, uh, MJF and, you know, uh, Jungle Boy, a few other people. So NWA power needs to be, they have to have some, they need to have something in place at the beginning. Or they need to have new people who are fresh, who, who have great charisma and potential. Or this shit will not matter after three weeks, after three months. NWA power, their interest will die off quicker than AEW. Because for one, they don't have the money. And two, they don't have as much hype. But this is a rumor, that, that, that a strong rumor. Billy Corgan did an interview saying they have signed with a top 20 TV network. So hopefully it is actually, the, the network matters, man. You can't be on Access TV. It, this, this needs to be on, I don't think FX, because I think FX and Fox is like the same thing. So it's not going to be something that's in, in bed with, you know, Fox, WWE is on Fox and Universal. So it's not going to be, USA Network, Fox, FX, it's not going to be sci-fi, um, it's not going to be on Turner, so it's not going to be TBS or TNT, so a, a, a good network, it would, it would be FX, but no, A&E, probably not, CW, probably, AMC, maybe, um, Viacom would not be good, definitely, well, I don't know why, but I was Comedy Central popped in my head. Put put AEW on Comedy Central, yeah, it 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 fits. Um, even even something like Showtime or HBO might be good, but I, I don't know. But um, hopefully this goes somewhere, and hopefully they clean up their roster. And with that said, like, share, comment, subscribe. A new television show on national TV in two thousand twenty four, maybe.